off your trippy toes. your fiance it's Christmas Eve okay if you're sure uh, I'm sure you both have a Merry Christmas good night see you Sunday Merry Christmas ginger Thanks, Grace. Merry Christmas mom we really need to talk about these numbers you, if you really want to help me you should move home and settle down I really could use the help around the shop it's not worth it why because I didn't raise you to not answer in complete sentences. Because I'm about that grind. The city life's for me. Plus, do you know how long it took for me to get out of this small town? What you need is a man to settle down with. I don't need a man. I'm focusing on my career. And there's plenty of fish in the sea, in the city. Yeah, tuna and trout. Mom. Do you know why I named you Grace? because by the grace of God, you'll find a man in this small town. Why are we watching this ridiculously sexist shit? I think it's cute and heartwarming so far. All these Christmas rom-coms are exactly the same. Thriving city girl leaves the Big Apple to visit family back home, reconnects with Prince Charming, and drops up everything from the city to go and be a normal housewife. It's freaking bullshit. Whatever, just I'm over this, give me the remote. Wait, the best part's about to come on, trust me. <laughs> what, the credits? Ho for the whole slaves! <laughs> ho, ho, ho! It's that escaped convict Santa Claus! The one from the news? The very same. Mm-hmm. Told you, bitch. Oh, my goodness. That was blasphemous. Uh, just to be clear, the uh, killer Santa bit offended you, but the women are only good for marriage aspect you're okay with. The beauty of cinema is we all interpret things differently. It was a jolly little film until that abrupt genre switch. You need Jesus. Oh. Jesus already has me. Oh, he's the only man that will ever touch that chest. What the sugar plum fairy said. Ho, ho, ho. Merry Christmas, babe. It would be if you were here, my love. As soon as this deal is closed, I'm on the first flight back to you. Mm-hmm. I guess uh, I'm on the naughty list now, huh? Oh, absolutely. But you're always number one on that list, so... I'm consistent at something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? I got uh, your present all wrapped up for you. Oh, yeah? Okay. You got me something small this year, I see. Oh, all right. <laughs> well, I guess you'll have to come home and warm my icy heart then. I always do. You do? What? I just... I, I don't know how I got so lucky to be yours. I love you. I love you too. We're so lucky to be yours. Happy Christmas, babe.
Eve's here. Christmas Eve, Eve. Likewise, Noel. <clears throat> Come in. We wouldn't want you and the baby catching your death out here. No, we certainly wouldn't. Personalized gingerbread men for everybody. Aww. Stop gendering the cookies. <sighs> oh no. What's wrong? You're broken. Oh no. I wonder how that could have happened. <gasps> My sister. Sissy Eve has arrived. <laughs> Hello, darling. Mwah. Mwah. I can't wait to be a gunkle. Still filming everything I see. Of course. I'm an influencer. <laughs> Eve, get your fat ass over here. I'm waddling myself over to you now, Sleigh Bell. This one's for you, Eve. Oh, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. I got the carving especially for you. May our virgin mother guide you on your own motherhood journey. <laughs> oh, and I carved that one. Adorable. Yeah. Eve loves a good carving. I appreciate it. All right, enough of this. Y'all ready to eat? Wait, there's another gift under the tree. Who's it for? It's addressed to all of us. Oh, lame, I hate sharing. That, that's mine. What's wrong, Noel? It's obvious. Fucking Judas here is the one. What? She probably spilled the tea in the confessional while Father Billy was giving her his holy water. I didn't tell anyone. Like we all promised. I'm too drunk for this. Noel! <laughs> Look me in the eyes and tell me the truth. Did you tell anyone about that night? We all know you have loose lips. Anyone, I swear. If you even think about hitting that record button, you are fucking dead. Sorry. I didn't tell. I didn't tell anyone. Then who did? <laughs> oh my god. What? Like, if what we did ever gets out, I'm gonna lose all my followers and endorsements. What, your 200 followers? 300. 
And I'm not about to lose everything to become a... a nine-to-five bitch. Nine-to-five? If that, they find out about our secret, they'll have a field day with your twink ass <gasps> in you fucking jail. Just shut up. You shut up. We wouldn't be in this bloody mess if it wasn't for you. Remember, the hazing was your idea Let's in the first place. Let's stop pointing fingers here. We buried that secret years ago. Oh, well clearly our secret has just been resurrected. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Holly. Ah! Holly? You all right? Go check on her, Nicholas. Me? Him? I'll go. I said Nicholas. Holly? Holly, open the door. Stop being so dramatic. If I die, at least I'll go viral. Holly, are you throwing up your shitty cookies? This is God speaking, and I command you to answer. All right, Holly, that's enough. It's time to get up. Who do you think brought all this? Whoever killed the angel, obviously. Do you ever think about that night? Yeah, I mean, sometimes. Her death really never made any sense to me. What do you mean? Well, we carved her stomach and then we found her with her throat slit open. I don't know. <laughs> She probably wanted to kill herself to punish us no. or something. Oh, that girl was stiffer than a dick on a porn set. She never would have had the balls to kill herself or slit her throat. I guess we'll never know. Yeah, and I'm, uh, maybe it's better that way because if this ever got out, it would be really bad. Especially for you, Eve. Brand new baby, a charming husband, beautiful home. Be a real shame for that child to grow up without a mother. Yeah, that would be a shame. I guess it's lucky for you that you're barren and single and will never have the same worries as me. Oh, Jesus, Belle, when are you gonna quit the bottle? Oh. Belle? Oh. Belle? Oh. Belle, oh. Belle. Oh. Wait, stop playing around! Oh. Belle! Wake up! Belle! Wake up! Where are you going? So for your damn brother and husband. It's not safe for us to split up right now. I disagree. Nicholas? Holly? Hello? Guys, come on. Bella's hurt. Guys. Guys, come on, stop messing around. Guys. I think, I think Bella's dead. Guys!
Merry Christmas Eve. Angel? Oh no. Angel's still dead, unfortunately. I'm Tinsel. Her sister. This can't be happening. Oh, but it is Eve. Why are you doing this? You know why. That night was an accident. Carving into someone's flesh is no fucking accident. So why'd you do it? Ask Noelle. She's the one who's responsible. Oh, cut the sweet little English girl act out, Eve. It's true. The stomach carving was Noelle's idea. But the fatal carving into my sister's throat was yours. You know, I don't know why my sister was so desperate to join your pathetic little clique. She always had an obsession with the elite. And look where that got her. Buried out in the yard by you all. I'm sorry. Sorry? Sorry. Sorry for what? Sorry for the murder of my sister? Sorry for covering up her murder so wouldn't it affect your futures? Or sorry for this? How did... How did this happen to me too? You see, my sister and I share a unique bond. What she felt, I felt. What she saw, I saw. So when you carved into her flesh, I felt every tear into my skin. I felt every drop of blood flow. I felt her fear. And then I saw you, Eve. So I'm gonna ask you one last time. Why did you kill my sister? And she slit her fucking throat. What are we going to do? Yeah, Noel. What do we do? Bury the body. And we never speak of this again. Understood? I guess you'll never know. <laughs> never underestimate a gay with a gag reflex, bitch. Happy Christmas, sis. <laughs>